Here we are guys, and this is April in 2021. I've been doing maple syrup since 2003. Things been really slow this year, not getting much what we usually get. Um, I'm starting my own company business, everyone. It's called Woodlands Davidson's Forestry Farming and Construction INC. Um, I got lots to go over. This is what I use for boring down my syrup. Even you think it sounds crazy, but I use alders for doing maple syrup. They're the best things to use. It seems a lot of work, but it's worth it. Okay, the first thing on the tour, I want to tell you guys, I'm planning to make a, a building so I can put my stove so I'm not out in the cold. I'm thinking of building a spot right here. This. The slope that you see right there is going to be the highest. It's where the tank's going to be, and the stove's going to be down in the valley. Um, so I'm going to need help, get a little government grant to do that, to do this. I need get. I do have a tractor in my own right now, but I need three more tractors to work with. I give you the names of the model. It's a 5120 Case International, a 5150 Case International. Um, there's a Massey Ferguson 8110. Now, this spot once I get all the wood out of here, this is where I'm going to put my fuel barrel at for the ESO truck to come in. So I'm going to need help getting that set up. I'm thinking maybe start off with eight or nine hundred gallon liter tank. I'm going to have a building right, built right here is what I need help with. I'm I'm going to get my sawmill up and going, but I need more upgrades. Log feeding chamber instead of this. I've got to have a smat slab so I'm not sitting on barrels. Um, I'm planning if everything goes well. Um, first thing is i got to get a new... I can't get this piece here off. This is... This is what runs the, the sawmill, it runs itself, but I got to get a new hockey puck and I can't get these screws out, so. But what I need for this, I get right to the chase here guys, this thing is the biggest concern, because with me, when I'm trying to hold the log at the same time, trying to hold this up at the same time, I'm doing Trying to push this, you're losing constrict. You're losing your grip when you get the log in place. So I need this better. I'm going to have a log roller that will roll the log around, um, and I'm going to have a even bumper. So if one side's lower, I can raise it up or down. But I need a log chamber feeder to. So I can, so the logs keep coming in. I can, I can take at least 16. I can, I can fit it in, but 12 would be the most I can saw at this point. But I will get another sawmill. It's going to have a little better, so I can cut longer logs. Um, 
I'm planning going to have some chickens and turkeys, but I got to get my building fixed. I'll show you why. My uh, my floor is going. There's a lot of this junk is going out of here. I'm going to sell some of this stuff and. Uh, What I need, at least I don't have to have three tractors right away. If you if you guys can get me a 5120 case, because I'm going to need two tractors to do this. I have to have one tractor on this end, the other side on the other end, because I got to put seals under here, put flooring in. I got to. Clean this mess up so I can get the second tractor in to set the the beams on. Um, cell carrying carrying cells what I need. So I'm planning on doing vegetables and stuff like potatoes. That's what the turkey's going to be doing. It's going to do that kind of stuff. And this spot right here that you see right there, the big clearing spot next to the popple trees and that still got to do more got to do a little more cutting there but I'm making a building right there big enough that I can put all my tractors in, in undercover we can go a little closer to, so you know exactly where it's going to be this is a road the second road that's going to go up through my field so my building's going to be right beside it when it goes we may have to cut a few more trees here guys but from the inside right now we are inside the building imagine okay on this side of the wall will be grain bins because I'm going to grow crops so this, the, this side of the wall will have grain so I can plant every year and on this side of the wall I have to, like I said, I have to cut more trees out of there because I'm going to, it's going to be a big building. But for example, all these bins on this side of the, the building are going to be for sale. And my tractors and stuff will be all in the middle. I'm gonna have the doors on both sides so we can so I can go one way to the other. Um, right here some places where I'm gonna have a office right here. Either here that garage over there is going I'm gonna turn that in a lunchroom. Um, I got one can on it on this tree there. So let's go up the field lane, guys. My budget, I'm not going to go any further than 16 grand for any machinery at this first stage when I get going. So here's my field lane. This is my main road for going in, but when I have a load of hay wagon, I'm going to go up and come back down. Because that new building that I'm making right there, I'm going to have uh, another place where I can pile hay on top of that. So I got that barn there to put in, and I got, I'll have the new one. We're going up the lane here.